We uh, come to you tonight again for another, with another installment of our uh, fireside chat. And uh, as I come to you tonight, I, uh, I just kind of want to reminisce and kind of rehash this last week, if you don't mind. Uh, we have had a, uh, in our family uh, a little bit of a setback. And uh, uh, many of you know by now that my dad passed away uh, last Wednesday early in the morning. Um, and uh, he, he just, his, his body just wore out. Um, honestly, our, our, as a family, we have understood that we were on borrowed time with him 22 years ago. He had had a, a major heart, heart attack, and um, two hospitals in the Chicagoland region had, had rejected or said there's nothing else we can do if not for the University of Chicago. Um, taking him, and this is going to sound bad, I don't mean it bad, but they'd never seen a diabetic uh, that had lived that long, type 1 diabetic, that had had the issues he had had. So he was kind of a, uh, an experiment, if, if I dare use that term, and I don't mean it in a bad way. Um, they did uh, open heart surgery on him. His heart was in such bad way that they had to rebuild, they had to relocate the veins and, uh, and blood vessels in his heart that's how bad his heart was uh, they did this quote-unquote experimental uh, approach certainly to heart surgery on him and it worked we had him for 22 years so we're thankful for that but it was a difficult time and and uh during that time and and while thinking on that time and even as as uh, uh, we've gotten back from uh, from the funeral service and and things are starting to fall back into place i I wanted to read a, a verse, and then I'm going to go back in the passage uh, and try to explain it. It's in Psalm 116. Uh, an odd statement is made here by the psalmist when he says in verse 15, Precious in the sight of the Lord is, is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And precious means what you would think it would mean. It just means special, sacred. Um, uh, in other words, God is if you will, rejoicing uh, at the death of his saints. Boy, it just, it sounds so foreign to us in our humanity. We're limited by life. We're limited by time. Um, we don't understand life beyond this life. But there is a life beyond this life. God understands it. And I think what God's telling us here, if you, if you look at the, the first verse, in the first verse, the psalmist says, I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Uh, right away, he says he loved the Lord. And then down in verse uh, four, he says, Oh Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. So he asks for deliverance. And then in verse eight, he finishes up with the statement, For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, my feet from, fall, uh, from falling. Uh, it sounds odd, but in reality, when we get saved, we in essence save ourselves from death. Death has no more sting with us. We're saved. Uh, he goes on to verse number 13. He says, I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Not only do we get salvation, but now we have access to God's throne and we can call on God. And then uh, down in verse 15, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Now, my dad died and it's, it's a painful thing. Uh, as his son, I don't like, uh, don't relish the idea of not being able to contact him. Uh, I don't like the fact that mom is now in, in Branson, Missouri alone, uh, trying to learn how to go through life alone. Uh, I, I don't like that. Um, my, my family, we got together, we mourned together. Uh, we, I didn't like that. Honestly, I didn't. But the calming peace that comes with knowing that dad, where he loved where he wanted to be, where his mama is, his daddy is, his uh, uh, great grandmas, his, uh, uh, his daughter he is, all, all these people that have gone on before him are there with him. And my dad loved God. He loved Jesus. He loved his Bible and he loved the church. And all those things were, if you will, all brought together for him on uh, that Wednesday morning uh, around two o'clock, a little after two o'clock. When, uh, when God uh, rescued him. Dad said one of the last things he said to me was I want to be in the rapture. I want to be part of the rapture. Kind of interesting. I was thinking he missed it. You know, he, he didn't. But then I got to, got to thinking I'm going to come up with a new statement. 
Uh, my dad had a personal mini rapture uh, on Wednesday morning. Personal mini rapture, a PMR. Personal mini rapture where God, Jesus stood up next to God and welcomed his, his loved one, my loved one, my dad, to heaven. I'm so thankful we have heaven to look forward to. And then we can see that to God, that's precious. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Have a great day. Goodbye.